from HockeyTrainingPro.com and UltimateGoalieTraining.com. Today I'm wearing the latest in fashion, my GoalieCrease.net t-shirt and hockey socks. I know, it's nice. It's a good thing it's about 42 degrees here today because I'm boiling to death. But just because of the socks, not because of my nice new t-shirt. Um, this is a little groiner exercise to do or groin slides. Again, um, we want to work on reducing the risk of groin strains. We want to teach those um, adductor muscles to lengthen under tension. And the other thing to keep in mind, um, what is called the groin muscles is actually a bunch of different muscles that work at different angles. So we can't just always work in the same plane. We need to play around and work from different angles. So um, this is what it looks like. In, in the basic, it's just straight out and in, getting a nice stretch there. But then you can do it with a forward lean, even a little bit of a side lean. So work from different angles. Get out so that you feel a little stretch. If you're nervous or say, you're trying to come back from a groin injury, then you know keep your hands on the on the floor or on the board to help um, decrease the load um, on your adductors. But this is a really nice exercise. Now, one thing I'll mention too, you should do this with like get your old rollerblade knee pads out or whatever and put them on. I forgot my knee pads today, so it hurts. But <laughs> but you put on your knee pads and then your socks. I'm using a slide board, but I bet you if you um, well, I don't know, you should put pledge on the kitchen floor. You might have a few white guts that way. <laughs> but, you know, even if you just got a piece of linoleum and threw it in the basement and pledged it up, I'm sure it would be good to go by. Uh, accepting no liabilities for injuries that may occur as a result of that suggestion. I hope you enjoy that one and uh, have a great day. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com and UltimateGoalieTraining.com.